Very good evening. Three minutes after eight. Welcome to Point of View. My name is Pamela Modena. It's a Thursday, so as you know, we usually have a guest presenter in studio who refuses to co-present with me, who says, I'm just going to sit back and I'm just going to watch you and I'm just going to be the guest. Well, absolutely not. That's not going to happen. None other than Professor JJ Daban. Sure, Chomiaga, you are a professor. Now. Yeah. Is that how yeah. we have to introduce yeah. you? We have to, we have to introduce you as Professor <laughs> JJ Taman. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy you're behind You look the so microphone. good. What are you not telling me? <laughs> you look so happy, so good. Hey? <laughs> We're supposed to be working. <laughs> J J Damani, you know this is this is this for me, yeah. right? Is your platform, right? T- okay. I know people know TV is your thing, but this radio this is your is thing. My this first is your love. thing because you yeah. can do what you want on the radio. You understand? And, you and TV, hey, they look at you with an evil eye if you do strange things. You know, uh, first I, when I had the first TV show, they said, "Why is this guy shouting on TV?" And so I, I remember asking you this question yeah. Yeah. because what people don't know is that you're actually quite shy. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I'm a shy person. People don't know you're so quiet. <laughs> That they they get your own family surprised you. Uh, oh, my me. wife was shocked on the first day of the rent. She stood there and said, Who's talking here? Who's that? And then Who's we said, that? Honey, what was the problem? <laughs> I said, No, I don't know. Also, <laughs> no, I want, I, I'm just I was just angry about the mess that the country was going into. I, I thought you missed radio, that's why we invited you to come. come I do, come I truly do. So, you know, let's do this thing. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. So obviously, you've been watching the story. Uh, Twenty uh, Metro is oh, yes. is in trouble. Yeah, I read it about it, it, it. Yeah, just a few days ago. Yeah, and, and what do you what do you make of what's happening there in Twenty? No, it's 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 nonsense. Honestly, I must tell you because <laughs> you 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 got two years to go to the polls, right? What magic is going to be done by a new mayor between now and twenty twenty six? Except musical chair, political musical chair that's got nothing to do with the citizen, right? That's the first part of the thing. The second part is actually you may hate the DA, you may like the DA, doesn't matter. Actually, this last two and a half years were the most stable that one has ever been. You remember before that they didn't have a mayor for months. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about the Hamas Kral water that you and I know. Mm-hmm. People from Hamas Kral have had brown teeth mm-hmm. for years mm-hmm. because the NC's incompetence for 30 years trying to get that right. But what's worse, right, be, be, besides even having to utter the fact that if you are in Hamas Kral, you can expect to, to have unhealthy water. That mm-hmm. has been proved by the CSI to be not fit for human so, consumption. Yeah. Is that the NC's funder, Mr. Sodi, stole money of, 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 of a treatment plant that was supposed to make sure that water is improved and 35 people died. No one is in prison for it. And was it not 13 years that they were busy with this water issue in Amanskra? No, they've been... Oh, no, no, no. 13 will be a, an underestimation. They've been... That, that, the, the, the dirty water thing that I'm telling you about, we knew when we were kids that if you are in that area... Your teeth are going to be uh, Your teeth are going to be... What, what was the cause of that? Surely a government that cares should have come in and tried to sort that out within a reasonable time. Not 30 years was still dealing with people dying of cholera. Mm-hmm. Like a stone age disease that was eradicated in the, in the 50s. So I'm going to ask you to put on your headphones because we've got on the line MMC for Utilities in the city of Tswane. Uh, Temba Fosi, I'm sure you've spoken to him several times before, but uh, he's uh, on the line with us. In fact, he's on Zoom with us coming. Uh, Mr. Fosi, thanks for, for making time for us. I'm going, um, I'm, I'm, I'm flying with JJ Tabani here, so I'm not alone. So good evening and welcome. Good evening, Pamela, and good evening to JJ. Evening, evening, my brother. Uh, I, I'm sure uh, you... you my favorite anchor. The man is oh. spot on. <laughs> Thank you, you. You heard a little bit of the rant there, <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Fossi. And, uh, and I'm sure we all want to know. I mean, obviously, you guys had a press briefing today. I wasn't sure, by the way. Mm. What was the purpose of the press briefing, Mr. Fossi? 
Um, as you know that um, we are about to face a motion of no confidence in the next coming week, I think it was best for us then to table every achievement that we've made. And remember, with every change, um, you would find that uh, people would cast suspicions that this was what was happening, misinformation to the public and all of that. So we, ha- we had to then to document everything that um, the achievements that we've done, the easy wins that you've, we've managed to um, get up until thus far. JJ is correct that um, it is fair time in 30 years that this movement and as I can tell you now that by end of October the people of Farmers Club will have first potable water ever um, and he's correct to say we've since we grew up myself I'm from um, Pretoria I knew exactly that anyone who comes from the Hamas clan area has um, um, brown tea. So um, 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 we are the only administration up until thus far that we have worked um, pride aside, political um, political um, fights aside. We sat with the uh, minister then, uh, Senzo Mkunu, um, together with Celia Brink, to make sure that let's have other means of making sure that at all costs, whether there's change of administration or not, the people of Hamas Kral, um obviously are going to be the losers if, the, if we don't do any other thing. So we've proceeded. I can proudly tell you that end of October, um, Pamela and JJ, the people of Amman's crowd would have water. There's quite a number of also uh, wins that we've gotten. As um, I mean, we it's only this month that we've got a billion um, um, that we've managed to achieve uh, to, to achieve as a surplus, so we can be able to meet our service delivery. The issues of townships that are not being t- um, taken off, um, um, I can tell you that it is the Action SA uh, MMCs who are responsible for those reasons. When they got into this coalition, amongst other things that they were um, crying about was that we're not taking care of the um, township areas, uh, Mamelodi, Atridgeville, and and, and um, Mawiga, which is Mabapani, Winterfeld, and Karangwa areas. Guess what we did then? We, po- we pointed them to, to that direction. The deputy mayor currently is a regional MMC for that region that they were complaining about. The same applies to region two, which is Hamaskral and the greater Montana area. Yeah, but so I mean, that, 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 say, that doesn't fly. Hey, you know that doesn't fly. I mean, you you can't tell me that you have MMCs that are uh, action SA MMCs, and they are the ones that must take responsibility for the failures of the townships. I mean, you've got a mayor who oversees everything. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. No, that's what no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? You see, when you co- when, when you complain, when you are happy about the wins, you also need to be um, sad about the the losses. If they feel that we are not doing well, they are part of government, so they the, that the responsibility falls on them. As I speak to you, if there's any escalations on the townships, if there's a, a, a massive water pipe, pipe burst, if there is basic service delivery, break and fix environment on a day-to-day basis, the people that they escalate to are the MMCs. If the park stops with them. But, so but, if there is a failure, I'm not saying that the the, the, the issues of townships, um, 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 there's quite a lot of things that still need to be done in the townships, um, Pamela. That's one other thing. However, when you are happy with the wins you also need to be happy with the, um, um, the failures you can't you can't then say it is the da that, that does this you are part of government. Let, let's park action sa for a minute how do you rate your own performance um, in the township i must say um how we're we going to rate this um, i'm going to give you facts um i can tell you that 60 percent of our capital budget is in the townships this is where we invest in. So far as the substations are concerned, new reservoirs, um, informal settlements that have been formalized, electrification, and making sure that there's roads. I mean, in Atridgeville, Mamilodi, in Sushanguva, Mawiga, there's quite a number of projects that are ongoing, which we do have in paper. So remember, if you, um, if there's new development, the development needs to be in tandem with um, the infrastructure that needs to go to that particular area. I must say that in the past 30 years, JJ is correct, quite a lot of uh, work that was supposed to have, to, have been done and have not been done at this at this point in time we are having so much backlog so far as the provision of infrastructure and the electricity water and the piping generally um all our our our, our townships are, are over 30 years old um having asbestos pipes as um, a provi- uh, to provide water that is just an old technology and which um it's got its own lifespan we need to go back and invest again in making sure that we we get new up pipes into, into into our areas make sure that the um, um, squat has an informal settlement and it's also need to understand that whilst we want that to happen they the, the influx of, of, of people coming into the city. Also, it doesn't talk to the amount that of, of money that we have so far as the infrastructure is concerned. So these are not talking to each other. We've got, at this point, 10 years back, we were about 2, billion, about two, two million residents. At this point in time, we are 4.2 um, um, million residents in the city of Tswana.
so what, how do you rate yourself? I think the question is how do you rate your performance in township? Because at the moment the townships look like a mess. If you enter Mami Lodi, it's like a dump site just at the entrances. You know, Soshanguve is, if I don't even want to go to Soshanguve, it's, it's, it's just a death trap there, etc. So it, it, it may seem like your 60% allocation hasn't worked so far because uh, it's one thing to allocate money. As well. 100%. Mm. I, I can tell you that we are over 70%. We are over 70%. We are not you, there where we want to be, yeah. but we are over 70%. Let me just give a little bit of a background. Um, so, uh, Lepasi. The issue of jumping. Uh, mm. But let me let me go. Let me give a context. In okay. fact, each and every Monday, I'm on my melody on Mums FM, Kidilaga Service Delivery Issues. The issue mm. of Tampa is a societal ill that still needs to be addressed within our old communities. Mm. That, that that one is a fact, especially communication. Why? What happens is JJ, we went to go 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 um Zamaya Road. We cleaned the whole place called Zamaya Road. We put skips there. Uh, a week after that, but to damper next to the skip. You can imagine those are the things that we still need to understand. Yeah, but... And then you do the same exercise, JJ. I think I need to be fair. We do the same exercise where it's a Wisa go Khrunluf or Wisa somewhere else. But to damper like a mula. So these are the things that programs are looking for really push, especially in, in the townships, making sure that we go to the schools and then educate our youngsters because mm. to educate uh, somebody who's 25 years old about the responsibility of damping. It, it's so you, are, you, you give yourself um, seven. We, you are saying the other 30 is uh, habits of the society. It's not your fault. Those are societal ills. Yes, we do collect JJ. Amongst other things, which mm. are pivotal to this administration. Remember mm. before um, who, um, uh, this motion of no confidence, we said um, trucks that compact us, all these garbage collecting trucks, they need to be nine years or, or, or newer or earlier, rather, so that we, 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 we desist from having excuses uh, when somebody's supposed to go and collect waste, says, oh no, truck is stuck, or, or there's something like um, some excuse. We said then, let's put trackers on each and every vehicle to make sure that um, um, there's um, due diligence. We make sure that there's quality assurance All right. that okay. but the predominantly JJ, yeah. it's a societal ills collocation more than any other thing. Because I can tell you, typically, um, JJ, um, somebody owns a Talk. Let's put it that way. You know what? Mbiagia community would. But if you go to other communities, that's not the, that's not the, the, the case. Hi, to Legi Kolo or something like that. All right, all right. I need to interrupt you there. Yeah, let me interrupt you. Just pack that one. Because we, 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 are not, we may not see eye to eye on blaming the people who are supposed to be saving on these things. Because you yourself are saying you've got to have programs to change that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to then say what programs are there for now. For now. I just want to talk about the politics of this thing. Right? Okay. You fail to negotiate with your partners to keep the government for another two years, right? And and the, the citizens are going to suffer. If all you are saying, the good things you are saying you are doing, it means that those things are going to be interrupted. Suddenly you are going to have a new mayor, new MMCs. The MMCs may even fire their own staff under them because okay. those are people appointed yes. by the previous. So it's, it, it sounds like chaos. So another year probably will pass before we can see any proper service to the people. Why did you fail to mm. negotiate the deal with at least the ANC who you have a national deal with? Just 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 put us into the picture. We'll come to action as a start with the ANC because it seems like they also are happy to see you gone. Okay, JJ, I think it's always best to give um this context. First preference would have been Action SA, the way that the coalition has been ongoing, because the mm. performance has been extremely great. That mm. one I, I should not uh, think. We were working very nicely with that. If mm. they had, if any other political party had an issue, they had a way of escalating within our own coalition management committee, mm. where we would be able to address them, and then just before we can even go to council. Mm. If there was a report that needed to go to council, we'd discuss it, and then when we go to council, we're all in agreement, then we can sort for, for, for to, to expedite whatever that mm. needed to be done for the Day. Unfortunately, this is the divorce about a Why? First what happened? That, it, it, no, we don't know because the first thing was from the media. I mean, ordinarily, they, they were supposed to write us a letter and say, these are the complaints that we have. Mm. Sort this out and then leave. JJ, you, when you are a wife, I cannot... Uh, uh, Every time I, 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 I accuse like we are cheating, you are cheating. There's nothing I be able to feel about this is the case. It cannot work that way. <laughs> Temba. We wanted Temba. them Temba. Temba. We Let, wanted let's them be honest. Let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, we, uh, we, but, uh, no, no, what, what I'm saying, conflict. Conflict. We've all watched the conflict. It's it's been it's been no, but public. That was the media. It's been Rina public. With the, with, with the staffs, uh, Rina, with the uh, conquest action, I say, yeah, we're okay. 
we still had Mako uh, two days ago with uh, uh, the uh, deputy mayor and the, the MMC Ian Tweed. So more importantly, they were all shocked. What this is what is happening in the in the in in, in, the, in, the, in the in the decision making for this uh, uh, national uh, um, national leadership level. So we we could not discuss these things already because leader had taken a position and then now we're all shocked same shocked the very same way as their staff is concerned okay let me move to the second part where jj says why is our election as a lately other political parties to be able to form a government and not to elevate jj that has been done from right now from our side it's done by by national leadership that is currently they have been having chats on to see how we can be able to continue on the work and it's done in a holistic fashion mm. um in, in case like you know um a grueling also it's a I had not be like a gaga gaga was already and you know for Elizabeth also it's it's learner in the I had not be like well so we are that they're thinking of of who is who burden us go so that we in a position for each and every government that is um currently in uh um uh, leadership it should uh, finish off the term because you correct to say jj at this day i mean you're gonna take four or five months before you even uh, are astute with your own office you can imagine then after that it is um campaigning time you're going for election so it is a problem it is a problem are you confident in, in your national leadership securing this Almost mayorship definitely. for you i mean they couldn't do it in johannesburg yeah, remember this decision is not a decision of our own political party alone. We need obviously to have a, a partner that we can say, okay, let's get into this marriage so that we can be able to um, better or even progress on, on, on the achievements that we, we we have. It's not a one party element. If that was the case, oh, definitely would have, would have, would have gone ahead and got, got, got this. But we need all um, partners who are more interested into making sure that we take um, the city of Tuana out of this quagmire more than the interests of party. Because you find people are more interested in issues of party like what is happening that actually i say now i mean we have been smooth there's the winds that, that that we've had up until thus far if if we were not disturbing uh if we're not being disturbed uh, you, you can imagine that um street of Toronto would have had a different project i don't know you know yeah. Temba, you say you you are on on the radio. And you are going to tell me that you guys are servicing the townships. Yeah, no, I go township. When did you last go there? About two months ago. And what did you find there? No, there's uh, issues of um, high mass that still needs to be sorted out, street lights that needs to be sorted out, mm -hmm. and to, to a certain extent, the criminality that is happening there. Yeah, Hore, even if uh, Uber is a, it needs to have a security, what delivery needs to have security, even our own guys, when they have to come in for basic service delivery outages or even sewer blockages there, you find that they need to it's have chaos. personnel that they have. So it is chaos so far as a, a, a crime issue. The issue we have to go more than any other thing. It's not necessarily service delivery. It's the issue of criminality that needs to be addressed by the SAPS and the national government. All right, Timba Fosi. You've got any other questions? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, can we just deal with the issue of... Uh, Brinks, is, Brinks is saying Mat Mashaba is politically incompetent. It's a, quite a new phrase. I've never heard that before. What does he mean? <laughs> I think what he what he meant was uh, first, as I said earlier on, um, JJ, is that if you have got a, a qualm that you want to address and you are uncomfortable, you come forward. The, we've been uh, hearing Mashaba saying things over the media. We've approached him several times. Let's sit down and be able to see how we can mm. be able to sort out where who baba guy to kuna He never came through. Um, you found. Uh, um, uh, Michael Beaumont, uh, Michael, come through. Let's see what is the problem. Why are you um, in the media saying these these, these things? Up until thus far, we we've never had anything. So it it becomes a, 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 an issue. One day, it, it issue Yahori, we've went on GNU with um, mm. um, the ANC on the national government. The other day, there's no service delivery in the townships. But we're saying though, yo. MMCs are responsible for those um, um, townships that you're talking about and there's money that has been invested there. Then he changes tune. Now the DA is arrogant. Now there's a DA mayor. So, so there's a deadlock at the moment uh, 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 and you are, you are facing down the barrel of a motion of no confidence In or is there hope before the week is out that this could be restored so, you, so that the people don't suffer the change that is abrupt? JJ, I, I, I'm of the hope that the mayor will um, 
um, still continue. Um, I, I'm of the hope that the motion can be withdrawn and let's see other ways because you can't uh, i mean the, uh, the achievements that we've had up until thus far you you can't just throw them away and to a certain extent is that there is a we are limited so far as time for the um, 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 election so you can imagine the change of administration Who, who's envisaged to take over by the way who's envisaged to take over as mayor is there is there no, candidate I, no, I, cannot is... Preempt, I cannot preempt anyone, but I think it's uh, the, the the executive mayor Silla Prince should still remain the mayor. No, understand. I'm saying who are they proposing? I'm sure by now you no, should none. have got. They are not proposing any mayor. Nah, Rabuzi, they just want. They the just want Silla just... out. They they will see copy. Out. But yes. I wanna go be. As to what is the problem with 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 Celia, nobody knows. Um, that's why we're saying that if you have a problem, we sort issues in the bedroom before we even go outside. So unfortunately, this time the issue did not even land in the bedroom. It was just already outside. People talking about the removal of our mayor. Um, what has the mayor done? Nothing. Uh, our service delivery. They, they are part of the service delivery. If there is a problem, then they are part of the problem. Let, let, let me ask you if this. If there are wins that just because yeah. of time so so you're you're yeah. betting on a relationship more with the ANC than rekindling your relationship with Action SA by the look of things I mean you're no, insulting each other now with I'm but, just asking the question but Action SA but was like a weekend you, you had uh, Mashaba that they are out um, um, they are out of this coalition they've yeah, never even written us a formal letter to say that we, I, we are saying as the Democratic Alliance um um, uh, JJ and uh, Pamela, that we are willing to work with anyone who's got interest of the people of Tswane. Okay. It's irrespective of who, but obviously, except the EFF. <laughs> yeah, okay. MMC for utilities in the city of uh, Tswane. Thank you so much for your time. Tema Fosi, thank you. Thanks for, for playing along nicely. Thank you very much, JJ. Nice thank to you, Tema. Thank you, Thank you, Tema. 25 minutes after. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. 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 26 minutes <laughs> after, <laughs> after eight. Well, they, they certainly appreciate you being here. So sure. thanks again. Okay, so yesterday we attempted a conversation mm. with the deputy chair of the NCOP. You attempted. Yes, we attempted. Yeah, okay. He, he, he came on <laughs> yeah. and, and told us categorically yeah. that he knows nothing. Nothing. My what, God. What, what we were discussing. You. And then uh, when, when we so left. So the, the interview was over. And, it had to be over because yeah. he told me clearly from the word go he knows nothing uh, and then when the show was over my producer wanted to smack me yeah. because she said how do you allow deputy chair to walk away telling you they know nothing I deceive. yeah so I, I was in trouble because she said I should have pushed <laughs> him and asked him why don't you know anything but then we wanted somebody who knows something okay. because we want to understand what's happening with infrastructure backlog in uh, Gauteng so mm. COP Gauteng Provincial Whip, uh, Jane Mananiso, is on the line with us, uh, JJ. Uh, yes. Thank you so much uh, for making time for us. Good evening and welcome, MP. Evening and good evening as well to your listeners. Yes. I'm, and thank I'm, you for inviting me. Absolutely. I'm, I'm also here with JJ Taban, who's also going to be chipping in with some questions. Mm-hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the, the site visit to Gauteng um, by the committee that came to Gauteng from the NCOP. Okay, thank you. We are a team of six from the NCOP, of which this week is our provincial week. Provincial week is that members come from parliament to come and engage on constitution, uh, constituency issues. So this week we have a thematic uh, program that we are embarking on, of which it emanates from the past parliament, but as a follow-up, to say that we are confronting the challenges facing timely delivery on viable public infrastructure to communities. Mm-hmm. So in our space in Gauteng, we have uh, actually sampled some programs per regions. We from West Rand, we from Greater Johannesburg, and as well uh, today we just went from to Ekuhuleni and Twan, and we went as well yesterday to Sidibeng. So we have sampled different programs from human settlement, social development, uh, health, and as well road and transport, and sports, arts, and culture. So what we are doing is to do our oversight on asking what could have went wrong in terms of delayed project, incomplete project, and as well, uh, abandoned infrastructure. So what we would do would get executive giving us the report, like on Tuesday, 
we had a session with uh, the premier and his emissaries in terms of taking us through uh, what are the projects that are pending and what is it that they are doing. But before we came to our province as delegate, as permanent delegates, we had a three fierce planning in terms of national, provincial, and as well local, uh, where Saga was representing the local sphere. On that uh, three planning session, it is the first of its kind where we deliberated on this issue of infrastructure. Uh, after that particular session, we then had a session with the Minister of Infrastructure, Deputy Minister actually, and the Minister of Human Settlement, where we were given feedback as well, an overview on what is the issue about uh, infrastructure projects that are delayed, abandoned as well, incomplete. So uh, we've been in uh, the province from Tuesday up until tomorrow but today we have just finished our oversight what we are looking at its reasons in terms of the challenges that could have caused to where we are because uh, we believe that this is public money that we must follow through and people must account those who are in charge of all this particular project i'm not sure if i should go at length in terms of uh, what we have uh, what has been our observation mm -hmm. and the report given by uh, the people in charge, HODs yeah. or DDGs? I mean, w what we heard from the executive is that one of the things, you, you, there are budget problems, everybody knows about the budget problems, but what yes, concerns yes. me is, is the indication that there's lack of cooperation amongst yourselves. Yes government entities which result in and i mean it's not the only reason which result in the backlog that we see just explain to me how you're going to get that right okay in terms of uh Houten, because of now i'm in Houten, but i want to uh let the listeners to say these provincial weeks it's happening all over uh in all these nine provinces in terms of the issue that you have just indicated of the budget problem it's uh, one of the reflection is that there's inadequate capacity, uh, be it on the human resource and as well those who are involved, like your professional service providers on site and project managers. We do we have people who actually doesn't know what to do in terms of planning and implementation as well as monitoring and evaluation because there's lack of proper project management in all these. Uh, the projects that we have identified, it's only few where you can see that if you put fit for purpose people, you are able to get the output that you want in terms of safety delivery and job creation. Like, uh, for instance, we yesterday we were at Citibank. There's a project, uh, Litabo. That project, it really shows that when you have proper people who, are, who understand financial issues in terms of financial management, who understand project management and project planning, you are able to do what you have to do within a scope and you are able to mitigate as you, you experience risk. So uh, these budget problems, they are not only based on the fact of the limitation of budget. It's just that we have people perhaps who could have undercosted the project because of they wanted to be given these particular tenders. Uh, some of the impact is on the basis of um, disruptions by local communities, as it when they feel that they are not being saved as supposed to in terms of 30% uh, 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 issue or of them getting those particular opportunities. And some is just the, on the issue of vandalism. So those issues, they actually affect the whole process of projects being unfolding properly without affecting the budget. So those were the reasons that we, we, we were given in terms of what, what are the issues that has uh, this uh, particular cost implications or budget implication, where we see that uh, in most of the pro project, mm. there's some uh, shortfalls uh, that we, we are picking up. And I want to say that uh, at least one can confirm that here actually that when we met with the executive and the premier, they didn't hide anything that uh, we are not where we're supposed to be. However, more needs to be done. So you highlighted a good visit. Let's talk about the bad visits. You've been to Charlotte Matleke, but the one that worries no. me the most, have you not been to Charlotte Matleke? We've been to Charlotte Matleke. Right. We went on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, that was our first starting point, Charlotte Matleke.
you would know the case there is that uh, four years ago, there was some incident of arson or the building bent. So they had an issue with the municipality in terms of uh, doing the, conducting the project there on the basis of issues of safety. But now when we were there, we were indicated that the matter has been resolved. So the construction has started. Uh, one of the things that we, we have experienced while we were there is that there was an issue of water and at least the Department of Health made sure that they come in in terms of ensuring that uh, the water is restored and it was restored and we were then taken through in terms of what is happening now in terms of reviving of the, that particular project. Mm. The status before it was abandoned, but it is now changed to revived on the basis that there's construction on site and the community around there, they are, they are involved in terms of uh, them being benefactors and beneficiaries of the project. Mm. So uh, we were assured that uh, the project that is ongoing now, it will be delivered according to the timeframes and, and standards as or, I, or of services in terms of projects. As I said, I'm with JJ Tabani here. JJ, they went to a school also called yeah. uh, Duzenendlel, a special school. Mm. Yes, yes. A and there's a request that there needs to be an urgent report Mm. that the, yes. the province needs to put together for the NCOP. What's the problem with this particular school? The problem with this particular... Are you asking me or JJ? I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, you know, JJ is... <laughs> All right. Um, in terms of do's and end, Leila, one is that we were taken into confidence that the land there, uh, it doesn't belong to the department one. Mm. Number two, it's not even conducive for human consumption or people to stay there. However, human rights could have intervened in terms of uh, speaking to the challenges that were there. And now they got the report from human rights in terms mm. of the mitigation, risk mitigation that have, they've put in place. Uh, we have advised them to say that because of it's been declared not as a suitable place for any development on the basis of the infrastructure. What are, what is their plans in terms of ensuring that they get they move from another space rather than spending the money that they are spending now as we yeah. speak, there are projects that are taking place. And we have asked how do you put a fence like what they are they are, they are busy with in terms of construction in a society that you know that there's vulnerability. People are selling these things to scrap yards. Mm. Uh, we were asking them on basis of following the money to say, but what are the implications in terms of mm. what you are doing now? Is that and what did they say? Uh, where you can, yeah, what, what they said to us, uh, it's a matter of, uh, for now, they have to do it because of, uh, of safety and uh, they're still waiting to finish that particular process of uh, getting to know whether the d department is going to get them a better space or they're going to buy that particular uh, area where they mm. are in Tuzan and Lela. But I can tell you, JJ, uh, we were very aggrieved about the situation mm. uh, on the basis that if there's a report, an indication that the place is not good for any usage, how do you then occupy the and space school, and, and school want there, to yeah. put years? More yeah. especially for the fact that we, we they are not uh, dealing yeah. with a uh, me and you. But these are your this comrades. Oh, did you feel helpless? We did feel helpless because uh, whatever that is being done by your comrade or whoever, mm -hmm. it can't back to you. Uh, as a person who understands issues of human rights, for, for, for me, when I went there, we, 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 yeah. we did raise our issue that, that that issue is not only an infrastructure issue, it's a human rights issue. All right, all right, and let's leave that one. I want, I'm, I'm, I'm keen on the West Rand now. You you visited the West Rand right. as well? Did you did you see the dilapidated Montrose mega city that okay. looks like a ghost town? I think they should shall they shoot a movie yes. there of, that, that, of that a one, ghost town. Uh, JJ. Yes, mm. JJ. The worst part about the issue of West Rand, I'm, I'm from West Rand in Mutlake. Mm. So you would know Montrose mm. is one of the areas that belongs to Ranfantin. Mm. Uh, as members, we have raised our issues uh, in terms of that area to be declared a crime scene. Mm. Noting the 11 billion that was 
uh, budgeted for for that particular program. And it's finished. And what you see. The 11 yes, billion is finished, finished and the, but the project is yes. unfinished. Yes, and there are issues besides the fact that the project is unfinished. There are cases that are going through uh, the the courts, of which we were told about three. Mm. One uh, was commencing on Tuesday as well. Mm. Uh, it was the, the issue of crime. Pet, pet, I don't know whether to classify it as petty crime or what, but people were stealing... Uh, Tiles, roof tiles. Yeah. Now, before we get you to know, that, the millions have been spent mm. on, 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 uh, on, 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 on owners or, or, or whoever Sam Mutaba represents, right? Yes. Uh, and and he did not pay lots of professionals like architects and civil engineers mm-hmm. and those kind of people millions, um, mm. and, and he has disappeared. And despite that, your government still appointed another service provider <laughs> to try mm-hmm. and finish. And that person also disappeared. I mean, it sounds like a mess. What are you going to do? Declaring a crime scene means what? All right. It means that whatever that needs to happen in terms of consequence management, it must happen. If uh, cases must be open for those who are involved, be it officials, mm. be it those who are on the project on, on site, and be it myself, Jane, if I'm involved, let it be. Because uh, who are you yes, calling yes. on to declare the crime scene? I, I'm trying to understand this calling of a crime Remember, scene. Remember, you're calling on who? We are calling on the executive. Oh, uh, of of how they? Yes. Mm. And and are they yes. going to do that? Did they say they are going to do that because they failed to do that for do, for, for more than five they must years? Do for, now is the new year, JJ. And I want to give them uh, a benefit of a doubt that they will do that based on the uh, plans that they have said that they have put they are putting into place to ensure that they deal with these issues. Yeah, mm. the previous. So I want us to. Be- yeah, and I'm, I'm sure yes. you know the previous MMC for housing, under whose watch this thing happened, had six SIU reports that were put on the premier's desk. It's now five years. I don't know what confidence you have that anything is going to happen? Let me tell you then, uh, the confidence that I have now, or what actually gives me confidence mm. of giving them a benefit of a doubt, is the fact that uh, in this uh, seventh administration, it's not it's not normal as before, where you would get the mm. ANC with the majority. Okay. We've got other partners uh, whom one believes that all of them, they are... Um, claiming to be you or they are saying they are for the people of Gauteng. So they would make sure that everything uh, mm. happens as supposed to no, we, what has been committed. We live, in, we live in hope. We live in hope. Uh, while we are in the West Rand, uh, sewerage yes. flowing into the rivers, uh, mm. Jane. I mean, really, man. I mean, what, what, to what bottom are we headed now? What, what, what explanation was given to you? Because this, this story broke a few days ago. That the, the Western water situation is so bad that the sewage is spilling into water, you know, into rivers and, and drinking water and what have you. Okay. In terms of issues of sewer sp- spillage, mm. uh, from, as I said, I'm staying in Moshaki. Mm. In Moshaki, when there's such, people will report this issue on uh, through the councillors. And uh, we would have sewer people coming and uh, uh, dealing with those issues. But most of the area that I know that they are more aggrieved on this issue of sewer spillage, it's in Pegasta. Uh, okay. However, what I know is that there's a plan in terms of dealing with that issue because of West Rand, in particular, uh, uh, Rand West, has been appoint- uh, appointed as uh, service providers in terms of uh, sewer services. In, in a how day by the premier, so I think us getting some funds uh, from the province in terms of dealing with uh, sewer spillages as uh, the custodian of that particular service, mm. it will assist us to deal with what we have as a problem now. But, 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 but uh, I want to be on record, uh, JJ, mm. with regards to the sewer spillages. Mm. That what I know is that when you call, when you have a when when you inform the council about this issue they fix if it if you have an effective councillor yeah. they do come but there's st- there's not they do you agree that the the, the the local government's fear in as far as your your party's concern is failing us from all the things you have said now the school 
whether be it Marcelo Matleke not having water, a whole, whole hospital, no water. Okay. And but then, please note, in terms yeah. of <laughs> JJ, it sounds like a mess, man, Jane. It, no, nobody. Um, you, you. Let, let's get it right. Mm. Nobody is denying the fact that things are not right. I've, I've, I've admitted. I've told you that as the NCOP, we are so aggrieved. Mm. And remember, we are. It's not like we coming from how, uh, Cape Town. We are. We are the same communities of these areas. Mm. So hence, uh, one would want to say to you, I, I don't want you to think or believe that I'm protecting anyone. Mm. Uh, I we came here as uh, beneficiaries and benefactors in terms of mm. this particular services of county. Mm. So um, don't don't doubt us in terms of what we are doing. So, we hope that the. Uh, recommendations that we'll, we will do will follow through and make sure that okay. whatever the commitments that are done will happen. Yeah. In terms of the NCOP, just to uh, take uh, take you through on how how this thing happens, we have uh, what we call undertakings, of which it's commitments by your executive, be it to your do, ministers, to do stuff to different, ministers, yeah. Yes, to do to do what they have to do besides doing things differently. So it is our responsibility that when they come before us uh, through NCOP, we are able to ask them to say, on this time, at this day, you said you would do one, two, three. Okay. Did you do it? Why? And they need to account. So I, I think now what makes me hopeful is the fact that uh, they have put interventions that one things if they are applied uh, soonest we would be able to deal with most of the issues so like uh, just to um, give you uh, can, can, the can, insight from, can i can i hmm. just pause you there we've got actually a caller from mohali city but mm. another thing i'd like you to address is you know all good and well but but you've got a, a shortfall of 1.1 billion rand hmm. how is this going to happen with regards to the issue of the shortfall of 1.1 billion, uh, remember there's medium term budget review where the when you have shortfalls, uh, you would go through that process of uh, meeting with the national treasury, make your case, and uh, then speak around how uh, th those issues and issues of priority on services that you would want to do. So. Uh, that process will go by law in terms of uh, debates, discussions, uh, agreements up until whatever that is justifiable and fair uh, would be addressed. All right. Let oh, okay. We've lost the caller. We've lost the caller. So, yeah, so we should try and get that caller back because I think they may give us a better perspective of what on earth is going on there. Yeah. No. Mm. Should we take a quick in Mohali City? Mm. So, so you are mm. putting me to as well account on Mohali City. Well, I'm not even the mayor there. Well, no, I mean, but you are, are the you not, Exactly. You are the <laughs> one that right. cracks the whip. No I'm just, you are the I'm one that cracks the whip. I was invited for the NCOP and the provincial whip, but anything is fine. I would respond uh, to my best of my <laughs> Katleho in Mohali City. Maybe they are raising concerns so that you can raise concerns. Exactly. Katleho, hi. Hey, yes, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for calling. No, I'm I good. Can't I'm good. Hear, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right. Can, can you hear me? We can hear yes, you. Yes, I can hear you now. All right. No, I was saying that, uh, 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 Miss uh, Jane, I, I hear what you're saying, you know, and when you talk about issues of uh, sewer, pro the sewer is not just the one that are flowing on the street. We are talking about the fact that there are uh, sewer plants that are not doing the way that they're supposed to do. And as a result, uh, what is happening is that the affluent is going into the rivers, affecting you have to, all the way up to the poor dam, which also feeds into the Val River. So we've got a situation where we're going to have an Hamas crash in Mohale City, very soon on the western as a whole. Sure. So can you can you agree that the infrastructure within the western has fallen apart and there needs to be a serious investment to revive this infrastructure? And it is as a result of the neglect. You know, of the of, of the ANC government for neglecting the infrastructure that they found, there has never been an upgrade on the infrastructure that the ANC has found is, since 1994 here in the West Rand. And as a result, it is falling apart. And before we know it, we are going to have issues of hamantral of cholera mm -hmm. and people dying because because this government is neglecting the very core 
of what it's supposed to do here at a local level, which is infrastructure development, infrastructure maintenance. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thanks for that. Jane, you, you want to comment on that? Yes, let me comment. I like how um, Gatlaho has uh, actually asked uh, his question, but again, he has given some uh, solutions in terms of what needs to be done, of which one would say that it's a fair analysis that we do have. Uh, ne- we Actually, some infrastructure is neglected, but uh, I think uh, he shall thought of mentioning the fact that we have old infrastructure beside the fact that it's neglected. Uh, One of the challenges that we have uh, old infrastructure that uh, needs to be maintained and not been just maintained, where we need to start afresh, we need to start afresh. And I'm noting what uh, he has said in terms of infrastructure investment uh, and infrastructure development of which one would take it as a umpago. Uh, to advise those who are in executive that side that it is important that they make sure that uh, they do what they have to do on issues of uh, investment for infrastructure. And I think I have said it that the issue of SUA, it's not pleasing. I, I'm staying in Motlaking. I'm mm. a resident of Motlaking, a ratepayer of Motlaking. So with me as well, when I see a any spillage, I just call even people from Mokali City when they want intervention. Those who are staying in Mokali City, they can tell you I'm one of those that is accessible as when they they need a person to speak to for intervention because our role is not interfering with all the systems. It's about intervention. So with this one, I'm noting it and I want to confirm here that I would uh, actually speak to the executive mayor. Uh, of Mohali City that this issue was brought through Kaya FM. Appreciate mm. that very much. NCOP Gauteng Provincial Whip, Jane Mananani. So thank you so much for your time. So-